probably more than other, in any other. I think the, the, the real problem of uh, the lack of confidence is fear. The major key about understanding fear is that it is an illusionary force and it creates and perpetuates illusions. As long as you're mentally entertaining an illusion for you, the duration of that time, that illusion is real. Uh, quote, quote again, the, the example of my little one experience, but uh, well, I probably had others, I came back from watching the Frankenstein movies, got back about 10, 10, 30, it was dark, went in the, the building I stayed in, it's one of these real high ceilings, narrow hallways, and a 40-watt bulb <laughs> to, to light the whole hallway, so I went zooming through the hall, I was about 10 or 11 years old, ran up the steps, the little panel missing in the front door, Instead of trying to get the door open, knocked on the door, I jumped through the panel, ran in through the kitchen, jumped in the bed, pulled the cover made. Scared to death. Scared all the muscles in there with me. <laughs> and I laid there, I don't know how long I laid there before the back of my mind, because that's where I heard it, said, look out there. And I looked out. And there was this big, huge man standing there in an overcoat and hat. So I pulled the cover over, I went to trembling and praying and spitting all over myself and everything else. I laid there a long time. Wait, no, nobody was home. Nobody was coming home. This thing. And finally, the front of my brain said, look out again. I remember the whole experience. And I looked. I just peeped up over the cover like that. And I looked. Then I looked again. The light from the street, the street light, shone through the front room into the middle room to the door where this illusion of a man standing there, turned out to be a hat and a coat on a hanger near the door. <laughs> That's what I saw. At that point, it was an illusion. It was unreal. But for the duration of the time that I was under those covers, that for me was real. The fear was real. The danger was real. You know, I mean, I could have had a heart attack under there. You know? <laughs> but I'm just trying to point out the significance of entertaining and perpetuating one's own fears. All fear is unreal. None of it is valid. You're not to fear God, nor the devil. You're not to fear un of the unknown realms or unknown things. You're not to fear anything. And what removes fear is knowledge, wisdom, and love. Knowledge removes it from your mind. Love removes it from your nature. And that's important. If you overcome the fear of pain, nothing in the universe can harm. That's the promise of the yogi master, in the state of harmlessness. By overcoming the fear of pain. And I was amazed when I read uh, Kwame Nkrumah's little book. And his first statement on the very first page, whomever overcomes the fear of pain overcomes death. A political spokesman, an African, really amazing. And, and can be proven within oneself that that is true. Some things we need to prove to ourselves. That's what the statement is about. Prove me here with, saith the Lord, and I shall open you a window to heaven and pour you out a blessing that you cannot, that there shall not be room enough to contain you. You have to prove that your God is within you. Waking up your God within you. A, by getting the faculties of your spiritual nature open. 